Hi, this is Justin with Achar Productions. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not you can use animation in PDF. The short answer is no. And rather than making this the shortest video ever in our YouTube library, I'm going to elaborate on why and what are some of the alternatives. So I'm assuming if you want to put animation in a PDF, you're probably using Adobe InDesign because that's the tool that really has animation features that could be exported. Most of the other software packages, like Illustrator being one of the, the top alternatives, doesn't really have animation capability. So we'll specifically look at other formats you can export from InDesign that support animation. Now, once upon a time, PDFs were primarily opened with only Adobe software. And so it's a lot more controlled, and that software included the Flash Player bundled in it, whether you knew it or not. So when you were looking at a video in PDF, it was being played by a video component run by the Flash Player. Similarly, if you wanted to export some kind of animation, you couldn't do it directly from InDesign, but you could embed Flash content, which had animation in it. Now, obviously, Flash is completely gone. And so the question is, what replaced Flash? What has similar capabilities? Can you use it in a PDF? And the answer is HTML5. This idea of replacing Flash with HTML5 came out right away. It's browser native, meaning that the web browsers don't need a plugin to run it like they did with Flash. But HTML5 couldn't immediately replicate what Flash was doing. It took some time. So the next question is, is it important that you need to know how to code HTML5? The answer is no, you do not because you can create your content visually in InDesign without coding and export to multiple HTML-based formats. And I'm going to cover three formats in this video that support animation. The first one is Fixed Layout EPUB. You can export this by going to File Export and choosing Fixed Layout EPUB. So it makes it really easy to export. There aren't a ton of options for you to figure out. And it's relatively easy to sell in a marketplace because it comes as a single file package, just like a PDF, except the file extension is .epub. Now, if you were to change that to .zip and open it up, you'd find it's just a zip package with a bunch of HTML in it. So it is an HTML-based format. It's technically XHTML, which is a variation of HTML. You don't need to know any of those technical details because it's just exported as a package from InDesign and it supports animation and a lot of the interactivity that you can create in InDesign. The downside that you have to worry about is that readers are different. Readers aren't as ubiquitous as PDF readers, so if you send it to somebody on a Mac, they can open it right away because there's iBooks on Mac. And if you're sending it to people on Windows, you're going to have to explain to them. They might have to download something else. What's the best EPUB reader software for them to use, etc. So that's something to think about. And then with those EPUB readers, the format is always going to look how the EPUB reader decides it should look. So your thumbnails, your page navigation, the transitions between pages, that's all determined by the reader app. It's not something you control as the designer. Very similarly, you can export Publish Online. It's basically push button from InDesign. And that makes it really easy to export. Very few options to choose and it makes it really easy to share because it just gets put on an Adobe server and it gives you the URL so you can share it with people and anybody who has a connection to the internet can view it. The flip side of that is that it only can live on those Adobe servers. You can't put it anywhere else. So it's not exposed to search engines if that's something you're interested in. People can't discover it. And then on the other side, you can't fully password protect it. So it's not entirely secure, even though nobody is going to guess the web address of your document. It's something to think about. And similarly, the format for this is constrained in a way. It's always going to look like publish online. You can't change the user interface or the page transitions. And lastly, I'm going to cover N5, which exports pure HTML directly to your hard drive. This is a third-party add-on that we at Ajar create. It's not a native part of InDesign, but it can easily be installed as an add-on. It's quite easy to export, but it does come with a lot more options. And so you can create different types of formats just by changing your export options. For example, you can create flipbooks. 
You can create slider transitions. You can create scrolling websites, banner ads, mobile apps, all kinds of different formats, and they'll look completely independent. People won't even know that you created it in InDesign and In5. The files are exported directly to your hard drive, so you have control of them. You can upload them to your own site. You can pass them off to clients. You have full control. And this is the only option that is truly responsive. It lets you design multiple layouts for different devices and export it as a single package, and it automatically shows the right layout to the right device. All this to say, it's very flexible. The downside is this is an independent product separate from what Adobe makes, so it incurs a separate cost. And if we compare all these formats in a table, you can see just for the sake of comparison, I have interactive PDF on here. It doesn't support any of these. It never did, not even when Flash was there, except that you could maybe put some of these things in a Flash file and then put it inside PDF. But again, we're not going to do that these days. So you'll want to look at the three formats on the right. You can see that Publish Online and Fixed Layout EPUB support the things you can create natively in InDesign, and N5 supports some additional options, giving you a lot more choices for the types of animation you create. If you haven't created native InDesign animation before, it's so easy and it's so wonderful. You can do it really quickly with motion presets. You can fine tune that animation. You can change the timing so you have multiple animations strung together, and it's really easy to use. And all three of these formats support exporting it. So now that you know what formats to use, I want to give you some resources for learning more about these, how to create the animation, what to do with the formats. So first, I want to point you to a video course that Keith Gilbert did for us on animation and interactivity. That will show you how to create all the different types of animation that I've listed here. So that is well worth checking out. We also have an article in our free digital publishing course that is specifically on animation. So if you're brand new to InDesign animation, this will get you started from zero. And it's just very easy, simple article. You can see what it's all about. And lastly, if you're trying to figure out which of these technologies is best for your project, check out our digital publishing technology guide. It compares these different technologies in depth and helps you decide which technology to use on which project. So be sure to check that out. The URL will be on screen and in the description along with the others. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. We produce other videos like this. We have some in our library already if you want to go check them out. And there will be a suggested video on screen. Thanks a lot, and I hope to see you in the next video.